This post-match report is proudly brought to you by Complete Sports Management, More Footy, Less Admin and Stat Guru. When numbers matter. Hello viewers, Dom here from Complete Sports Management here at Bullion Park to which we've watched the game between Bullion Templestone and St Mary's in the last round of the season to which St Mary's have defeated Bullion by 58 points in a really good match but I'm here with the Bullion Templestone coach Andrew Andrew, you've come from Division 2 this season up to Division 1 and to get to where you were it was a fantastic effort knocking on the door in the finals but unfortunately the result didn't go your way today what was your thoughts overall on today's pretty much knockout match? I thought, um, look, it was, it was a tough game. Obviously, St Mary's played some really good footy. I think um, it was a great achievement for the guys to, to keep us in the season, you know, coming up from Divi 2 against uh, some bigger sides. So I thought the guys you know, tried pretty hard. I think you know, a few things didn't go our way today. I think uh, you know, a few things could have went a bit differently, but the boys tried their hardest, but I think they were just overawed on the day, really. Yeah. I thought Matthew Ketchen's game today, he had 24 disposals, was fantastic for you all day today, and was really the top, the top uh, possession scorer today. What were your thoughts on his game? Because I thought he tried his absolute heart out today on the half-back flank. Yeah, I thought uh, Ketch was pretty good. He's, been, he's our captain, he's been pretty good all year. Um, you know what you're going to get from him. I thought um, he was supported, and I probably thought Jake Sticker was pretty good in the middle, number three. Mm. Uh, I thought it was fantastic early. Uh, I thought those two were great, and uh, sent half back Luke Stacker. I think, I think it was... Um, same sort of guys from us. I think we just needed a few more contributors over the day and probably throughout the season uh, with a few bottom age kids. Hopefully they got a bit of confidence throughout the year and we can go on next year. Yeah. Well, Jake had 20 disposals as well, so he was also high in the stats count. Well, for, for your top end players, that's it in terms of junior footy for them. So what would be your message to the bottom age, the bottom age players and for the club for uh, next season? Well, I think yeah, it's a message for both. So the, the top age kids, obviously, they've finished their junior footy, but there's a pathway to keep wearing that jumper through the senior club. So, you know, and under-19s and that sort of stuff. And I yeah. think the, uh, the juniors, uh, the younger guys, you know, we've got some good under-15s coming through next year and they've just got to stick together, stick fat, and, you know, hopefully um, continue to grow next year, really. Yeah. Well, commiserations on the result today, but fantastic ever for this season. And we thank you for your time, Andrew. Thank you. Welcome back to Bullion Park. Here I'm with the St Mary's coach, uh, Greg Hanlon, and one of their players, Connor Gedge. Greg, I thought today it was a really good effort, a fantastic result to um, get a good 58-point win, really get yourself ready for finals. I noticed that you had four goal kickers, um, four top goal kickers kicking two goals each. It, w it was a really even spread today. Was that a plan going into today's game against Bullion Temple, so to spread the load? Yeah, it was. We had uh, three talls and three sort of small players up in our forward line. So again, we just want to have multiple targets. And all year, we really haven't had a dominant forward. It's been quite a, quite a good spread throughout the whole year. So again, yeah, we had those four um, players that kicked two goals each. Yep. And then we probably had, you know, what was it, three or four players that kicked one goal, mm. our small forward. So um, quite happy how that turned out. Quite happy. Yep. So those players were Noah Stanley, Mitchell Hocking, Tank Connor and Jared Sacco who kicked those two goals each. So Connor, it was a really good result for your boys today. Do you think that today's result will give you a lot more confidence going into the finals which start next week? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think um, just getting into that like winning mentality is really good for going forward into finals and getting confidence. Uh, Greg, the lessons that you last played against uh, Ivanhoe a few weeks ago, which was here at Bullion Park, what do you think the, games, the game that you learned from that game uh, going into next week, which is an, an elimination final, what, will you, what do you think you can learn from last time you played against Ivanhoe to next week? Uh, with Ivanhoe and similar to Park Orchards, they match up with us pretty well physically in height, speed and skill. Uh, that last game against Ivanhoe, it was the first quarter that caught us out. Yeah. I mean, the difference at the end of the game was the first quarter, yeah. 21 points. Yeah. Uh, There's probably a few areas we could uh, improve positionally mm -hmm. where players where players were set up and again it comes down to a mental approach for the, for the boys it's got to be turned on from that first bounce yep Connor did you learn any lessons from that game and do you think you'll be able to rectify those lessons for next week uh, yes definitely we learned a lot of lessons from that uh, game probably positioning probably a lot out of position the first time we played them but we've been working on that especially improved a lot today as well on that so um, mm -hmm. hopefully we can uh, bring that into finals well, it sets up to be a fantastic final series. Boys, thank you for your time today, and good luck for next week against Ivanhoe, which 
Yeah, th thank you for your time, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Dom. Um, this is Dom here signing off at Bullion Park. Make sure you click back on Complete Sports Manager to see where the final series will be scheduled and for all up-to-date uh, uh, details on the YJFL. Thank you for your time, and see you next week. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.